This story has blown up all over the place, and I'm sure you guys have already heard the news of Bishop Mario Mario Emmanuel being savagely attacked by this man during one of his church services, and the attack was caught on live stream. This has been all over the media, and the news is reporting on this, but they're failing out to leave one key point. And the reason they're leaving out this one key point is that this does not fit the mainstream media narrative. But I'm going to show you the key point that they're leaving out, and I'm going to show you evidence that this was actually a planned attack. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. An Orthodox Christian bishop was just attacked by a Muslim on live stream during his service, and the reason why is utter insanity. Mari Mari Emanuel, a very well-known Christian bishop, was preaching at his church in Sydney, Australia when a Muslim came rushing at him with a knife. Four other church congregants were also attacked during this encounter, leading to immediate hospitalizations. For the past two weeks, many Muslims started a social media campaign, warning the bishop that he only has two weeks to live because of his comments on Prophet Muhammad. Although the bishop was sent to the hospital, reports came out that the attacker's switchblade did not work properly, which allowed the bishop to avoid serious injuries during the attack. The attacker was eventually pinned down and confessed that his motives for attacking the bishop were because of his comments about Islam. Bishop Mari Emanuel requested that his church, as well as Christians worldwide, pray for the man that tried to end his life. Although we constantly hear the narrative that Islam is a religion of peace, we can clearly see with our own eyes that all it causes is violence and destruction. Pray for the attacker, as well as Bishop Mari Emanuel because we know that our enemy is not people, but the devil himself that controls these people to do these types of atrocious acts. <laughs> Now remember when I said the media was purposely avoiding this one point in the entire attack? Well the point that they were avoiding is that this was a Muslim that attacked him. And the reason why he attacked him is because he was offended at something the bishop said about his false prophet Muhammad. But the media doesn't want to report on this because part of the elite's agenda is to brainwash you with the narrative that Islam is a religion of peace so that way it puts people's guard down when more Muslims start taking over territories. Because once they start taking over territories and they're not the minority but the majority, that's when you see major violence happening. This is all part of the elite's plan, is to basically Islamify the whole world. Now what I'm going to play next is what the media is hiding from you. This eyewitness inside of the church claimed that as the attacker charged Bishop Mari Emanuel, he was screaming Allahu Akbar. Check out this video for yourself and you're going to realize that this attack was not random or by coincidence. Tell me, tell me what happened. Camera's not on you. He was uh, stabbing. He was stabbing. Yeah. And I saw him, I ran and grabbed him from behind and just pushed him down. Look, he kept saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. He was saying that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Not only do we have the eyewitness testimony that this was a planned retaliation attack, but the attacker himself confessed on video that he attacked Bishop Mario Emanuel because he supposedly cursed his prophet. Which, by the way, he didn't curse his prophet, he just spoke up against Islam. But these people always take everything way out of proportion and act like children, even though they're grown adults. Because that's the type of behavior that this religion facilitates. Oh, I don't like what you said about my belief system? Well, I'm gonna lunge at you and try to end your life. That's their mindset. And how is this compatible? with a Western civilized nation. It's not. I hope the world really wakes up to the agenda of Islamifying the entire world because this is what you're left with. Anyways, let's watch the video of the attacker confessing it himself. <laughs> Now remember, Jesus warned us in John 16 too that the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think that he is offering service to God. As the attacker was documented to scream Allahu Akbar, meaning God is the greatest, the chilling prophecy 
prophecy of Jesus continues to unfold before our very eyes. The times that we are living in are very wicked, and you need to understand that Islam is not a religion that tolerates free speech. Any criticism of this religion and you will be met with violent physical force. This is another reason why the elite have been pushing the mass immigration agenda, importing people who share this demonic violent belief system into civilized western nations. The devil has been clearly showing out and it's clear that demons can no longer resist their bloodthirsty lust against persecuting the saints of Jesus Christ. Mari Emmanuel is a mighty man of the Lord and it's clear that the enemy was trying to suppress his influence for reaching souls for the kingdom of God. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I want you to leave a comment down below saying pray for Mari. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, you can check the offering link which is in my description or you can buy the merch that I dropped which is also linked in the description. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain Brand new lane, heaven my domain The world I gain, but it ain't do a thing Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain Brand new lane, heaven my domain The world I gain, but it ain't